145. It's a number that I've had in my mind for a long, long time. It's a goal I set out for myself to reach 145 pounds by the end of the summer, and I won't stop until I get there. Here's how I plan to do it. The first thing that I need to do is establish a baseline of where I'm at right now. Given my current weight, you might not think that I have 30 pounds of fat to lose, but trust me, it's there. I track my weight and I track my waist. That's it. The second thing is I need to work out and I need to be super consistent. So for the first month, this is what my routine is gonna look like. Every morning I'm gonna wake up and do the McGill Big Three exercises. Because I work from home, I have the flexibility to break up my workday. And during my breaks, I'm gonna be doing exercises which focus on just five main muscle groups. My back, my chest, shoulders, core, and legs. After work and after all those exercises, it's time for yoga. And third is food. Now I'm gonna keep this real simple. I'm gonna be eating one meal a day and that meal is gonna have mostly vegetables with a carbohydrate source and a protein source. The protein source is likely gonna be some ground beef or a chicken breast with the carbohydrate being rice or quinoa. And that is it. I really would love to go vegan, but I wanna keep this very simple, something easy for me to do. I know that I like eating chicken and I know that I like eating ground beef. So for now, I'm gonna stick with that and make small changes so I can hit my goal of 145 by the end of the summer. So that's it. That's my routine that I'm gonna to use to help me lose about 30 pounds over the summer. McGill big three in the morning, then 500 calisthenics moves at least in the afternoon, followed by a nice yoga session and some good stretching at night. So I'm gonna end the video here today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments or ideas on my routine, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be touching base with you guys probably in the next two weeks to let you know how it's going. And until then, have a good one and we'll see you next time.